Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on suspension cables. Let us read the question and draw the diagram. A cable of span 70 meter has its ends at heights 9 meter and 16 meter above the lowest point of the cable. It is the lowest point of the cable C. From this point support A is 9 meter above and support B is 16 meter above. It carries a uniformly distributed load of 14 kN per meter run of the span. Determine the reactions at the supports. Find the maximum and minimum tension. Calculate the length of the cable. We can use this expression and find L1 and L2. We know that L2 is 70 minus L1, H1 is 9 and H2 is 16, root 9 is 3, root 16 is 4, 3 upon 4 we will get 0 0.75, then we can take this term on the right side, we can multiply these two so that we will get this, we can take this term on the right side so it will come as positive. 0.75 L1 plus L1, we will get 1.75 L1. Then we can take 1.75 on the right side. So it will come in the denominator. Finally for L1, we will get 30 meter. We know that L2 is 70 minus L1. So finally for L2, we will get 40 meter. Now let us find the vertical reactions VA and VB. We know the formulas to find them. To find VA, the formula is WL1, W is 14 and L1 is 30. For VA, we will get 420. The formula to find VB is WL2, W is 14 and L2 is 40. Finally, for VB, we will get 560 kN. Now, let us take a moment about to see from the point A and find the horizontal thrust. In this case, we have to follow right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 30. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. With the uniformly distributed load, we have to multiply the distance and a distance by 2. The horizontal thrust is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it is also negative. For the horizontal thrust, this is the perpendicular distance 9. Finally, for H, we will get 700 kN. Now, let us find the maximum tension. It occurs at B because it is the highest level. In the point B, we know the formula to find the maximum tension. Root of Vb square plus H square. Vb is 560 and H is 700. Finally, for the maximum tension, we will get 896.44 kN. Now, let us find the minimum tension. Minimum tension occurs in the point C because it is at the lowest level. The minimum tension is the horizontal thrust itself. We know that it is 700. Now let us find the length of the cable S. Yes. We can use this formula and find the length of the cable. L is 70, H1 is 9, L1 is 30, H2 is 16 and L2 is 40. Finally for the length we will get 76.06 meter. Alternatively, using the formulas, we can find the horizontal thrust and the vertical reactions. This is the formula to find the horizontal thrust. W is 14, L is 70, H1 is 9 and H2 is 16. Finally, for H, we will get 700 kN. This is the formula to find the reactions in the supports. To find VA, we have to take the negative sign because A is in the lowest level compared to B. And to find VB, we have to use the positive sign. D is the difference in the level. 
So D is equal to 16 minus 9. We will get 7. For VA, we will get 420. And for VB, we will get 560. And using this formula, we can find the length of the cable. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.